All right, time right now for our fresh grocer, Tony Tantillo. It is Tony's table today. Tony's here. I know you're here because I can smell the onions I know. and nice, the tomatoes and the olive oil. You know, it's so beautiful outside. I don't want to make a pasta. I don't want to cook anything. I just want to make something refreshing and it'll cool you down out there. All right. What do you think? Let's jump in. Beautiful. We're making a tomato salad, a wonderful tomato salad, but instead of basil, mm -hmm. we're going to use mint. Mm, I think I I've done this before too. with you, but mm. in Sicily, they use mint more than basil. It just brings out the flavor of the tomatoes, especially this time of year, because tomatoes aren't really backyard grown yet. Mm -hmm. So it brings it. Quick tip on the mint when you buy it, nice and green all the way around. And if you can't smell the mint yeah, about a foot good. or two feet from your face, don't mm. buy it. It's got to smell just beautiful. It's got to be beautiful. fresh. And in the refrigerator right away. So are we ready? Let's start with the tomatoes. Okay, and it looks like there's some pepper on here. I have already. salt and pepper. Okay. I already seasoned it. You don't want to put the whole thing All in of there. them? All of it. Okay. We season the tomatoes. I mean, the tomatoes now, I want to put some salt in it to bring out some of the moisture mm -hmm. and the pepper because you want to get the seasoning right on the tomatoes. You don't want to lose any of that seasoning on the red onions or the, or the uh, mint. Now, what kind of tomatoes are you using? These are just plum tomatoes. Okay. Roma tomatoes. Very simple. Some red onions. Ooh, a little and you spice, want to use like huh? the middle part of the red onion. All of it? Uh, that's good. Well, it's almost all of it anyway. <laughs> Might as well put all of it in. I ask after. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> no, added. this is good. It's perfect amount. Now, let's add the mint. Mint. Okay. How much, Tony? All of it. I want to lose that flavor. That and what there. great colors, too. Beautiful huh? colors. Now, we're going to add the olive oil okay. right there. This all of it. Nice. Drench it in nice olive oil. Nice quality or olive oil. Always. Right? Well, like I put it in there. Nice and slow. I mm -hmm. like that. Beautiful. Now we're going to add just a little bit of balsamic reduction to it. And I notice you're being careful not to mush up the tomatoes. No, you don't right? want to mush them up. You, just want you nice say just a little bit? A little bit. Let's see. How's perfect. That? That's okay, perfect. Because it's too sweet. We didn't add any vinegar because the tomatoes have acidity. The red onions mm -hmm. have acidity. So now you want, really want to let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, in the fridge or on the counter? In the, on the counter. Okay. Not in the fridge. And then just serve. And I notice you've got some nice crusty bread. And that's what you want to serve here. it with, the crusty bread right there. Look how nice this looks. Tony, and that was so it. easy. So easy, so simple. So yummy. And very delicious. All right, I'm going to have a bite in just a minute. First, we're going to tell you, you can see Tony Tantillo's Fresh mm. Grocer Reports every weekday. They're always right here at KCAL 9 News. I can just hold that.